Hi everybody, Joe Patty here. And tonight, I'm making coasters. I'm finding my little zen zone. And I got me a candle burning over here. It's a woodwick candle, I love those, they're my favorite. It's called Secluded Garden. So it sounds nice and it also smells nice. Speaking of smells, you guys, when you mix your resin, you should wear a mask. I always wear a mask when I mix, and then I take the mask off when I pour so I can talk or whatever, and I have it pretty far away from me. But, you know, once in a while when you're mixing your resin, you can see little bubbles popping out and stuff. You know, this stuff is toxic. I don't care what anybody says, you know. Even if it says, oh, it's non-toxic, I don't believe it. You know, I have to just always treat everything like, you know, you go into it with caution. I mean, years ago when they were picking tobacco, they didn't tell you how bad it was for you, you know. So, always protect yourself. Be careful, you know. All right. So, tonight I'm going to make two coasters. The first coaster I'm making is uh, a secondary seashell one that I had for that. And I put the seashells first. I took them out of my little container. They're all broken up and dusty. And I put them in here where I'm going to make the coaster and just... just you know, spread it out to see how much I would need. And then I just put them in this cup. Because I had to take out, some of them were kind of 3D and poking up. And I wanted to cipher through those and get the right ones. And the second coaster I'm going to make tonight is with my little twigs. I went out into the yard and I grabbed some sticks and twigs a couple days ago. And then um, what I did from there was dip them in uh, pouring medium and let them dry overnight. Because I wanted to get... I wanted to get these guys not to be so porous because I don't want any extra bubbles and I don't want them trying to float to the top or whatever. So, all right. So, that you got enough. If you have something porous, like I did the coffee beans in that, you're going to have natural bubbles anyway. But if you treat something first and seal it, you're going to have a lot less bubbles. All right, let's go. I got me four ounces of resin tonight. And I'm going to start off. We're putting a little bit in here just to cover the bottom. And some in here. And I'll come back tomorrow or in about four or five hours. Depends on how late I want to be up tonight with a second coat. All right. I'm going to pat this like pancake batter. Does get some of the bubbles out there. So we're baking a cake, y'all. Bake that cake, everybody. Bake it. <laughs> this one gets it spread out some. Put a little bit more in there. start off with sprinkling this in here. Actually, I think I'm just putting it on my hands. I'll do it like this. I'll smash them down with my stick. Get them mixed up in there. My sticks in here. I think I'll start with the biggest, fattest one first. Let's see, and pop a few more bubbles here. Now I'm going to pop some more bubbles after I put these sticks in or whatever. But you guys got to be careful because even though it's been sealed, there's still a... They could still catch fire, you know, they were made of wood, so... You never know. You gotta be careful, no matter what. Once they're in no particular order, I'm just kind of putting them, what not, here and there and everywhere. <laughs> there's another one here, but I don't know. It's gonna fit anywhere. Hmm. I do not know. I might just leave that. I'm going to push these down in there. OK. 
kind of rolling on me. So if you guys have any ideas, I'll make a coaster. I'll try to make a coaster out of anything. So let me know. Tell me in the comments below. What do you want me to make a coaster out of? I'll try it. I'll try it, everybody. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I want to, I want to, I want a coaster. <laughs> All right. Now, for a little bit more on top here. All right, let's go, everybody. We're baking that cake. Popping them bubbles, everybody. Up high. Quick, quick, quick. I'm using a new resin and I'm trying it out, but. It's because uh, the manufacturer says it'll go up to 500 degrees or whatever, and I want to see. Because one thing I've noticed when I make coasters, all the coffee mugs stick to the bottom. All of them, no matter what. So I discovered something the other day. I found an old coaster, and I put it out, and I put a coffee mug on there, and it didn't stick. And I made that thing about two months ago. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe it takes a couple months for, I know it's like it says it's cured in 72 hours, but I don't know, y'all. I think that uh, if you're going to apply heat and the coffee mugs and hot chocolate or whatever, I think that uh, it's going to take longer to keep it from sticking. So I'm still doing some testing on stuff, so I'll let you know. There's all kinds of different resin and stuff out there, and I'm, I just like to test them all. You know, if I think it might be good or whatever. And I just uh, don't want you guys or myself spending a bunch of money on a good one, especially if this is just a hobby, you know. I mean, like, this is just fun for me to do. I'm not, you know, making a big business out of it. So I don't really need to spend a bunch of money on certain resins. But I also know that if you overheat it, while you're popping these bubbles in between, I try to wait five minutes or so sometimes, but... If you're over here, it'll be cloudy. There's some bubbles in the corner over there. Okay. Looking up right there. Something right there. Something right there. <laughs> I'm going to let this settle. Maybe I'll try to squeeze this one in there. Look at that, everybody. We got it in. <laughs> and tomorrow, we will add another coat of resin. Because it will keep these bad boys down in there. All right. Let's let it sit, everybody. Okay, everybody. This is what I want to show you. This is from the video I just did. See, it even looks yellow because there's so many damn bubbles in there. I couldn't get the bubbles off for nothing. I even tried another coaster and didn't heat it at all. So I don't understand why this resin is doing that. And I had followed all the instructions. In my next resin video on comparisons... I show some more examples with the coffee beans and that. So I want you to see that. And then I also talk about the resin, which ones I'm using in this and which ones I'm using in this. And this is also from that same video. Very unclear on the edges, changing colors on me. Oh, gosh, I don't get it. It's terrible. It's like, you know, a waste of time and money. And there's no excitement in the end. That's too bad because that's pretty. So I'll probably, even though I don't like it, it's all kind of cloudy looking on the edges. But it does have that like a sea foam color to it. So I'll probably just uh, maybe put some felt tips on there and still use that one. And this is with my Old Faithful resin. And I like it. And I decided not to even put another coat on top of there. I kind of like it. Rugged and rough. You know, it still holds a coffee mug. It's 
not really uneven or anything. It's really nice. I'll put the felt tips on this side even. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it. Hey everyone, that was a really nice Zen Zone video with my raining and everything going on. Here's your meditation thought for today. Our attention is often torn between memories of the past or imaginations of the future. Until that is, we remember to be present. So grab your glue gun and your glitters. Don't forget your ruby slippers. In other words, do it your way. Any way you want. Thank you for watching. Arrivederci, everybody. See you again soon back in the studio.